Hello and welcome. Now, in the last lecture, we talked about cell phone radiation and what are the guidelines given by WHO and we noticed that WHO has already classified cell phone as possible carcinogen and designated as class 2b. And we also looked at what are the precautions which we can take for using safely cell phone. And my strong recommendation is please try to limit your cell phone use per day to maximum about 20 minutes or so. Today let us look into what are the cell tower radiation characteristics, how it is radiating, in which direction it is radiating and what are the associated health hazards and precautions which we need to take. So, let us see now in India uh, we have uh, various technologies which are prevalent in the rest of the world also. So, we have a CDMA technology works in this frequency range, GSM 900 technology which is 900 range, GSM 1800. Then we have 3G, uh, 4G has just started uh, in India and the big launches have been taking place and also we have a Wi-Fi Bluetooth which radiates exactly in the same frequency range as of a microwave oven and these days in India there is a big push by our Prime Minister. So, he is talking about digital India and he is talking about smart cities. But unfortunately, in the smart cities, the agenda is invariably Wi-Fi and I felt that the smart cities would be a city where we can get a absolute neat and clean drinking water. We do not have to buy bisleri or other branded bottle. We need clean air to breathe. We do not want air pollution over there. We want good roads in the city. We want housing for all the people. We want good education for each and every sector. Then only a city will become smart city, right? Unfortunately, there is an overemphasis on Wi-Fi enabled and that we think or it is being said that you will become smart. Well, that is not really true and too much Wi-Fi creates a lot of health problem also. And I strongly recommend all of you people to see this website which is Wi-Fi in schools.com. And this website is dedicated to help the public realize that wireless internet or Wi-Fi or cell phone or cell tower, all those things emit radiation that cause serious health effect which is damage to DNA, cancer and infertility. So, let us just see the way these antennas have been installed all over the country in a very haphazard manner. So, you can see that you know there are number of antennas on a given rooftop and in India we allow them to transmit about 20 watt of power and you can see there are at least 10 of these antennas are there. So, 200 watt power is getting transmitted from one rooftop. Now, just to compare this power in a microwave oven, typical microwave power inside a microwave oven which is getting generated is of the order of 500 watt and in that 500 watt power food gets cooked in 1 or 2 minutes or 5 minutes depending upon the size of the food. You might have noticed that if you just put 1 cup of water, that 1 cup of water starts boiling in just about 1 to 2 minutes. So, now you think about the human body which consists of 70 percent liquid, what is happening to that? This radiation is penetrating. And unfortunately, these uh, cell towers are transmitting 24 hours a day. And I want to actually mention here how this radiates. So, let us just say that uh, this is the tower. In fact, I call them vertical tube light. Uh, there is a reason tube light takes time to turn on. Similarly, our human brain is taking time to understand this microwave radiation. The reason is we cannot see the radiation, we cannot smell the radiation. We cannot uh, uh, you know visualize the radiation and also the effect happens over a long time. So, for these radiation we define where is the maximum radiation. So, the maximum radiation is generally in the front side direction. So, this is normally radiation pattern is a three dimensional pattern, but here I have shown in two plane horizontal plane and vertical plane. So, in the horizontal plane, so suppose if there is an antenna here. So, in the horizontal direction one can see that the beam is wide, 
there is a relatively less radiation in the back side and this is generally used to cover about 120 degree. So, what they do? They put a one antenna like this orienting like this, then another one at 120 degree which will cover this region and another 120 degree angle which will cover this. So, that is how they cover 360 degree in the horizon. Now, in the vertical plane, the radiation is maximum in the front direction. So, you can see that this beam is relatively narrow, but there are lot of these side lobe which are present over here. Now, this is what we have been discussing about antennas. So, we know that this is the main lobe and these are the side lobe over here, this is the back radiation. So, now people living in this direction will receive maximum radiation, people living over here will receive relatively lesser radiation. So, this is the radiation pattern of the antenna. Now, we also know that the radiation pattern also varies as the power varies as 1 by r square, where r is the distance from tower. Now, this thing I have taken from a German website and what it shows here 50 to 300 meter distance is there and what it says people living within 50 to 300 meter radius are in the high radiation zone and are more prone to ill effects of electromagnetic radiation. Now, you please recall the example which I gave in my previous to previous lecture. So, we had calculated radiation density at 50 meter as well as 300 meter. So, at 50 meter radiation density was approximately 31 milliwatt per meter square and at 300 meter it was approximately 0 0.9 milliwatt per meter square. Now, see according to them even those values are causing ill effects. Okay? So, how can we adopt in India 900 milliwatt per meter square for GSM 800? And also I want to mention that this actually shows here 50 to 300 meter, but there are people who may be living at less than 50 meter distance and these are then people in the extremely high radiation zone. And I also want to mention that these are the things for just one antenna on a rooftop. Now, if there are multiple antennas and pointing in this particular direction, then the health hazard will be even more and more drastic. So, in fact, about 3, 4 years back, one case was reported in the Mumbai area, where what it was reported that 4 cancer cases were reported here in this building on 6th floor, 7th floor, 8th floor. And the reason later on was found out that on the opposite building on the 7th floor, these multiple antennas were installed. So, from the 7th floor, if you now recall the previous uh, radiation pattern, the radiation is in the front direction. So, the maximum radiation will be moving towards this direction. So, 6th floor, 7th floor, 8th floor people will be receiving more radiation. So, that is why there were 4 cancer cases. And while this discussion was going on, uh, number of cancer cases increased from 4 to 6 because this is the uh, leading edge and the trailing edge. So, people living on the other floors also started developing health problem. So, then what happens? Uh, 2 years later, 6 cancer cases were reported and you can see that these were on 5th floor, 6th floor, 7th, 8th and 10th. And after a very long discussion back and forth, finally these towers were removed, but about 2 people meanwhile died because of the cancer. So, how do we define the radiation norm? So, as I mentioned earlier, India had adopted ICNIP guideline and that is for GSM 900, it was 4500 and for GSM 1800, it is 900, for 3G and 4G, it is 10,000. And then after great effort, in fact, I have made roughly 30 to 40 trips to Delhi in the last 5-6 years. We made presentation to TEC, TRAI, DOT, we made presentation to inter-ministry committee and so on. And finally, government reduced the norm to one tenth of the ICNIP guideline on September 1, 2012. But we still feel it is very high. As I mentioned earlier, ICNIP guidelines are good for 6 minutes per day and one tenth of that will be good for 60 minutes per day, which is one hour whereas cell tower radiation is 24 hours a day. 
So this norm is very, very high. So now let's see here, Austria, New South Wales had proposed 0 0.01. Austria, Salzburg actually adopted at 1 milliwatt per meter square also. If you see all these countries are have a less value, except if you look at the USA here, which is 3000. And many a times people say, oh, USA has a very high norm. Why should we concern about? But if you actually look at the USA FCC guideline OET 56, page 21, and what is written there that they allow high power transmission along highways or rural area, but in the urban area, power transmitted is about 0 0.5 to 1 watt, okay? And whereas in India, we allow them to transmit 20 watt of power and which is 20 times more and that is why people are developing health problem in 2 to 5 years. So if it was reduced by 20 times, the health problem will be shifted by decades. Now just see this here, Austrian Medical Association. So this Austrian Medical Guidelines came in March 2012 and they have been very clear about it. They have written very specifically that irrespective of ICNIP recommendation, regular exposure of more than 4 hours per day, just see what they have mentioned, greater than 1 milliwatt per meter square itself is very far above normal. And what we have? We have 450 or even 1000 for 3G and 4G and that is also for 24 hour exposure, so which is extremely high and dangerous to the health of the people. In fact, I would like to bring here a bio initiative report. The two reports came, one report came in 2007, another report came in 2012. Now 2000 report gave 2000 scientific papers references and 2012 gave report of 1800 research paper. So there are more than 3800 paper which say that there are strong evidences of health effect. And by the way, these roughly 3,800 and many more have come in the last four years. So let's say more than 4,000 paper, they have been published in best possible journals of the world. They have been written by the scientists of the world. These papers have been reviewed by the various scientists. So all of them cannot be wrong. Of course, I want to tell you also that there are roughly 25,000 papers which say there are no health hazard or there is a no conclusive evidence. And in fact, scientists around the world actually went through that and find out that 75% that of those papers are funded by industry. Okay? So one has to be careful and anyway, you cannot ignore 4,000 scientific papers which say there are health hazards. Now, we have done the measurement at thousands of places and I just want to mention here at this place, we measured the radiation density to be 17.7 .7 milliwatt per meter square and the lady in that house developed cancer within one year. In fact, we had sent our team to do the radiation measurement in that Usha Kiran building where we had a four to six cancer cases and we found out that the radiation intensity was five to 10 milliwatt per meter square. Now, these are the health concerns with the current guideline. So, in fact, actually speaking, it is not just that the health problem only is the last thing which is a cancer. In fact, lot of health problems start occurring even at 0 0.1 milliwatt per meter square also. So, these are, it starts with the headache, it starts with the uh, sleep disorder, dizziness and so on and so forth. So what are the most common complaints? If you use cell phone for longer time or if you live close to the cell phone tower or work close to the cell phone tower, you may actually have a problems like sleep disruption or disorder, headache, concentration problem, forgetful memory, depression, fatigue and uh, irritation and so on and so forth. And if we ignore that, then the problem can be little more serious now dizziness problem, heart problem, especially if you are keeping cell phone next to your heart, visual disorder problem, cardiovascular problem, buzzing in head and so on. And if we ignore that, then things become even more serious. So 
especially as I mentioned earlier, if you fe start feeling headache, then it can lead to Alzheimer's and Parkinson disease also, immune system degradation, I already mentioned about ear, irreversible infertility has now become a major, major concern. It has been reported that if you are exposed to the cell tower radiation, infertility is one of the possibility. And in fact, a cell phone, many people keep the cell phone in their pant pocket. And for men, it is affecting the sperm count. And for ladies or girls, it is affecting the, so ovaries are there near that. So the eggs in the ovaries are getting affected. It is also affecting the skin. It is causing a DNA damage and then DNA damage leads to increase in the cancer risk. So, in fact, this uh, study has been carried out by Professor Henry Lai. So, here is a bundle of uh, DNA. One can see that it is nice spherical bundle here. Now, this bundle is exposed to X-ray. So, one can see that X-ray has lot of energy. So, it can break the DNA. You can see that the break in the DNA is very, very obvious. But now, coming to the cell phone or microwave or Wi-Fi radiation, so now that does not have enough energy to break the bond like this. But you can see that there is a DNA damage. And I also mentioned that earlier also when these molecules erupt, they cause a DNA damage. And when damage to DNA is greater than rate of DNA repair, there is a possibility of retaining mutation and initiating cancer. So, this means that not only we will get affected, but our coming generation will also get affected. Now, let us see the studies which have been done around the world. So, you can see some nice pictures of the things which we have put for you around the world. So, let us see what is happening. Let us start with the center of attraction, Nyla, Germany. Tower was built in 1993 and they have studied the people living within 400 meter distance. So, in the first 0 to 5 years, this is the odd ratio of getting cancer that is approximately about 1.1, 1 being normal. So, 1, 1 1.1, there is not much of a difference. So, one can ignore that, okay, after 5 years, there may not be much effect. But 6 to 10 years later, see what is happening that is about 3.2 times. So, people living within 400 meter actually are prone to the cancer risk ratio to 3.2 times. Now, let us just see why Austria adopted such a tough norm. So, what they observed that the people who are exposed to, this is a 1000 microwatt per meter square, which is equivalent to 1 milliwatt per meter square. So, people who are exposed to that radiation, the increase in odd ratio is 8 times. So, now you can imagine what is going to happen after about 6 to 10 years of the installation of the cell tower. We may have a real cancer in the entire country. So, this is the study reported from Brazil. So, they direct link to the 4924 cancer deaths which happened. And these were the people who were living, 80 percent of these victims were living within 500 meter from the cell phone because of the radiation. Now, these are some of the coverage in India. So, one can actually see that this is a coverage in Mumbai. So, cancerous cell phone towers, panic Parsi colony. So, six cancer cases were reported in three years. And in fact, in my first newsletter, I have reported many of these cases. And you can actually download my newsletter, just say cell phone or cell tower radiation newsletter or you can send an email to me, I will mail you my newsletters. This is the study reported in Jaipur. So, basically we can see here seven cancer cases in one area, six cancer cases in another area. In fact, several other reports are there. So, there are cancer clusters near the cell tower. So, later on what happened, the cellular operators came. So, they started doing the measurement and they said all the towers are within the norm and the norm was very high. In fact, then we sent our team to these places and we found out that the measured levels were between 5 to 50 milliwatt per meter square. And what is the norm? 
450 to 900 milliwatt per meter square. So, definitely those norms are very, very high. Now, we talked about the effect on the human being, but let us also talk about the effect on birds and animals, because birds and animals are most of the time outdoor, especially the birds, they are flying around. So, let me ask you a simple question, have you seen any bird near cell tower? And chances are you have not, okay? because the birds get affected very significantly because of the cell tower radiation and you might have noticed that the sparrow population all over the world is going down. In fact, some of the countries have now actually started saying sparrows are endangered species. In fact, it is actually affecting the honey bees population also. It is also affecting the animals. In fact, it has been reported that the dairy cows which are living close to the cell tower, the milk yield has gone down drastically. So, now this is also affecting the plants also. In fact, this picture is taken by me. This is actually the four cell towers are there located in Gurgaon, Delhi, Tol Naka area. And uh, I had taken picture from this uh, farmhouse here and the owner of the farmhouse actually told me that after these cell towers have been installed, their uh, lemon yield has gone down from 100 to less than 5. That is a 95 percent reduction. In fact, after that I myself did measurements at so many places where people had complained about let us say the mango yield going down, guava yield going down. In fact, orange was a very strange case. So, oranges which were earlier this big size after the installation of the cell tower few years later their size became smaller. Why? Because the tower antenna is fixed here, a tree is fixed here. So, there is a constant radiation coming from there. So, the water molecules in these fruits start vibrating and that creates problem. So, in fact, the size reduces and also these oranges became bitter. So, later on the owner actually cut the tree. So, similar things which we have noticed, in fact, uh, especially in the some of the places like uh, in uh, West Bengal and in Kerala, Tripura and other places, they have actually reported that the coconut yield has gone down. Again, coconut trees are tall like this, cell op towers are there, they are constantly radiating towards this. In fact, they even reported that some places even the water inside the coconut is getting dried up and also the browning effect also they notice on the side where the antenna was there. So, in fact, alarm on these things, environment ministry had also conducted a study. In fact, they actually had an expert team of 10 people that report came in November 2011. So, what they actually reported, they went through 919 paper and they mentioned 593 papers said there is an impact. 130 said no impact and 196 were unconclusive. And they have actually reported, even though it was supposed to be birds and bees, but they noticed that effect on the human being. You can see that all these other things, they show that there is a strong adverse effect. So, environment ministry has already reported and we would also like that, you know, that government should wake up and do something serious about it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are sitting on a cancer epidemic. So, this is the news which came in June 2014 and it was reported in Hyderabad that 25,000 brain tumors were reported in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana only. Now, that is just two states. In fact, actually speaking, I talked to the ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research. So, they did mention that the cancer cases are increasing. So, just to tell you, in 2014, it was reported that 10 lakh new cancer cases were added. In 2015, 11 lakh new cancer cases were added. Now, the known cancers from smoking, tobacco, liquor, that they found out to be about 3 lakh. For rest of the 8 lakh cases, all they said is it is because of the change in the lifestyle. And in the last 10 years, the major change in the lifestyle is our cell phone, cell towers, which are radiating 24 hours, people who are living within the close vicinity of the tower, developing problem, people who are using cell phone for hours and hours, they are developing 
health problems. Now, this is the study again reported in October 2015 and what they had reported is number of hours along this side and that is the odd ratio of getting malignant brain tumor. I have drawn a vertical line, so this is my contribution, vertical line and horizontal line here. And I will tell you the reason also why I put at 4000 hours. So, if somebody who uses cell phone every day for 1 hour, so 1 hour multiplied by 365 days will be 365 multiplied by 11 will be close to 4000 hour. So, that means if you are using 1 hour phone every day in about 11 years, this is the median of the case here chances of getting brain tumor will be about 1.6. And these are the two extreme cases which depends upon the type of cell phone, the health of the people and so on and so forth. But you can see that this is linearly increasing. So, all of you can actually think about when did you buy your cell phone, how many hours you have used cell phone. Now, this is just for cell phone. By the way, if you are living next to cell tower, well, then you are going to have a much faster effect on you. And the reason another thing which I want to, to say, recall I mentioned that interphone study said half hour use in about 10 years, but here increase or better technology. So, one hour here in 11 years, this is the chances of getting brain tumor. So, please take care of your health and your near and dear one's health. I mentioned earlier, so scientists have been asking government and the WHO that RF field now should be classified as class 2A or even class 1. Okay? And in fact, you can also see here, it is also written their health risk from Wi-Fi devices is also rising. So, there are people who are recommending class 2A, there are people who are recommending class 1 and class 1 over here. So, please unite all people of the world, please unite convince your governments to adopt better norm and convince the WHO to adopt better norm. So, what are the solutions? So, for cell phone I have already given the solution and the solution is cut down your cell phone usage. But what about cell tower? If suppose there is a cell tower next to your home or next to your office, what do you do? So, we all have to unite. We have to convince in India, the body is DOT, Department of Telecommunication. Now, they were the one who reduced the norm earlier from 4500 to 450. We have to convince them to immediately reduce it to less than 10 milliwatt per meter square. So, even though please remember, safe is 1 milliwatt per meter square. So, this will be a one step in between. And this step can be very easily obtained. All they need to do it is compel the operators and tell the seller operator that instead of transmitting 20 watt per carrier, they can maximum transmit 1 to 2 watt in densely populated area. Now, there are lots of benefits by doing this also and how this can be implemented very simple. Remove the power amplifier or reduce gain of the amplifier, this can be achieved. So, why they are not doing it? The reason why they are not doing it is that if they reduce the transmitted power, range will reduce and if the range reduces, then the coverage at a far away point will be not there. So, they have to install more low power transmitter or low power repeater and this would actually cost more money. And let us just look at what money we are talking about. So, in fact, uh, we did some preliminary study. So, right now in India, we have 5 lakh towers, which is about 0 0.5 million. They need to install another 5 lakh tower. Now, each tower cost about 15 to 20 lakhs of rupees, which really means they have to invest about 75,000 crore to 100,000 crore. And that is lot of money. But we also did a ROI calculation for them. That is a return on investment. And that is so simple that if they increase the price usage per minute of cell phone just by 5 paisa. Now, you see the power of 5 paisa. So, 5 paisa multiplied by 20 minutes, which is the average today. So, that will be 1 rupee per day. So, 1 rupee multiplied by 365 multiplied by 100 crore user. 
So, that means they can make 36,500 crore in one year. So, in three years time, they will recover their entire investment with interest. So, see, we are actually suggesting a simple solution so that they are also not taxed and people is also taxed very little. And also they will get a very big additional benefit also. If their turnover goes up by 30, 40,000 crore per year more, their share prices will also go up. So, we are not trying to say that, you know, we are not against seller operators or we are not against the seller towers. In fact, what we are against is a high power radiation. In fact, I have actually even a given a slogan also because a lot of people came, they said we want to remove the tower because of the health hazard. I said, look, if you remove the tower, then phones will not work. So, instead of that, you know, we gave them the thing, reduce the power or remove the tower. So, try to convince the operator to reduce the power. If they agree, very good. Otherwise, then health is more important. And in fact, my conclusion is extremely simple. It is people who have to decide health versus wealth. How much wealth we are talking about? Just 5 paisa increase per minute of the cell phone use. Whose health we are talking about? We are talking about the health of the entire human being. We are talking about the health of the birds, bees, animals, trees, plants, fruits, everything. But however, there is a twist. Health is on this side. Wealth is on this side. So, there is a cross. And that really means that people have to work hard. They have to create awareness among the people and try to convince the people about the health hazard. And when people unite, they can convince the government. And when people, large number of people go to the government and tell them that, look, we are not against the technology. All we want is a safe radiation. So, technology can live happily with the safe radiation. People can enjoy this nice, fantastic technology without affecting their health. So, thank you very much. Please create awareness to all your friends, to all your neighbors and try to convince government to adopt better radiation norm so that we have safe country, we have safe world. Thank you very much.